the same sentiment. I want to thank the Marshall voters for passing our NAFTA sales tax, and, and uh, we desperately needed that. Contrary to what anyone might think, we, we needed that for us to be able to move forward. So that's a that's a really good thing. And as Vince mentioned, we won't receive any money. The tax doesn't go into effect until the first of April. So we will start receiving money in May. But that's just from the monthly filers. And if you have people that are quarterly filers, we won't get any of that money until July. But it is going to come, and so that's that's going to be a, a major plus for us. And, and uh, again, I'd like to thank the voters that did support us because we, we needed it very badly. We were long overdue. Um, our airport project on the terminal building is scheduled to begin within the next couple of weeks. The first thing that will happen is um, everybody will have to get out that's in there, which most of them are, have already made arrangements to go someplace else. There will be a trailer outside for them to use for office space. That's where the, the uh, municipal services employee, the airport attendants, that's where they will be located. That's where they'll, they'll be housed. Uh, internet equipment, the AWOS, uh, all the towers, all that stuff will be taken care of from that trailer. So there is some office space for those people that, that have offices in it now. Uh, Civil Air Patrol will be able to do drills there, but they won't be able to meet there. I, think, I believe they're going to meet at the mayor's church, but they're, they'll be doing that on Saturday morning. Um, the, they will start with the, the roof will come off because it's got asbestos. The inside, the asbestos will be abated from there and then they'll, they'll start to put it back. So as soon as the roof is, is back on, then they can start with the inside part. Um, completion date is slated for June the 1st. So that's that's a, a major thing for us too. That would be nice to have that done. Um, if anybody has driven out across or along the highway across from the hospital, you have seen the progress that's taken part on the solar farm. It has just gone gangbusters here in the last two weeks. They're really getting a lot done out there. So if you haven't seen it, you should go take a look at it because it's, it's really impressive. Um, there has been a contract signed on the old hospital that um, was signed. The, the hospital was purchased by Brookwood Realty out of Kansas City. And it is, as far as my knowledge of it, it was um, purchased for elderly housing. That's the way that it was presented to me, and that's the way I presented it to Mr. O'Hanlon when he sold it to them. Um, eventually, it will end up as part of the Zimmer Investment Group. So you're all familiar with Zimmer. We've worked with them now for the last several years. And, and, but they are the ones that did purchase it. So hopefully that will clean up the neighborhood, and Mr. McCumber and Mr. Lawson and whoever else will will uh, have something much nicer to look at than, than they have had in the past and how many years it's been now. So it, it has uh, really no way to go but up at this point. But but we're, we're very happy that that, uh, that was able to be accomplished and we're able to get that done and move forward with that.